Sound rolling. Camera one. Rolling. Camera two. Rolling. My name's Elizabeth Boone. I'm Professor Emerita in Art History, or in, in, in the Department of Art. I'm an art historian. Uh, for a couple of decades, I held the Martha and Donald Robertson Chair in Latin American Art. My research interests are what I, what I would call Mexican manuscript painting, or the painted books of Aztec Mexico. Um, the Aztecs and their neighbors didn't write in words and sentences. Their graphic system did not record speech per se, but it recorded ideas, concepts, um, events, data of that sort. And so I'm interested in how you record information, which we would call language, but without a detour through speech, without a resort through, through of, of spoken words. So I work on the painted books of Aztec Mexico and how they transitioned into the early colonial period. I was hired at Tulane in 1994, uh, but I had owed my previous position a year because I'd been on sabbatical, so I actually arrived in 1995. I was at Dumbarton Oaks in Washington, D.C., and my husband was at the Smithsonian. We were both feeling a little restless, and um, two positions came available at Tulane one being the Robertson Chair in Latin American Art, and a position in anthropology for a physical anthropologist, which is exactly what my husband does. And they happen to be at the levels that we wanted, that we needed. Um, and so we were both offered these positions. I remember when we sat down that weekend and decided to write these applications, and I said, well, you know, John, if they accept us, we'll have to go. <laughs> and we did, and I've never regretted it. The work of the Stone Center has impacted my career in so many ways, it's hard to uh, think of them all. It has gathered together a very important collection of scholars whose focus is Latin American studies. And so it draws in and supports people from history, from uh, uh, Spanish and Portuguese, from linguistics, from anthropology, um, from communications, and from art history. And I think it's that constellation of scholars that's so important, and the Stone Center is responsible for nurturing them. I think also the Stone Center, and I, I should have perhaps even put this first, um, has supported my desire to train advanced graduate students. Because when I first came here, the art department offered an MA in art history. And the former provost, Jim Kilroy, um, cut our funding for all the stipends. So we um, worked with a donor to get some of the stipends uh, reinstalled. And then the Stone Center gave us some stipends to carry us over. And then when, uh, and then some years later, I pushed and this, with the Stone Center backing for a joint PhD program in Latin American Studies and Art History. And that program is the one that has, um, through which most of my students have gone. So I don't think I would be here without the Stone Center. Actually, I know I wouldn't. We would have gone, we would have gone somewhere else. Um, but the Stone Center uh, made it possible for us to stay. If I were to, to think about uh, a standout experience that I've had with the Stone Center. Um, I would say that it was in the Greenleaf Conference Room with a group of colleagues in different departments, and we were all on the Graduate Admissions Committee. And we had spent days, if not weeks, reading all of these graduate applications. And Jimmy Huck, Director of Graduate Studies, had um, created a fabulous uh, spreadsheet, summaries of all the students and their work and this and that, and their GREs. And, um, and we came to, and we had already ranked them ourselves, and we came together to discuss them. And I found that sort of interchange, that sort of exchange of ideas among colleagues, 
um, to be really valuable and really important. So I can't, you know, if you think about one thing, a party or a student or a symposium or something like that, I think it's the admissions committee meetings <laughs> that for me were the most important because they speak to the future of Latin American studies. If I were to try to describe the legacy of the Stone Center and its importance for me, I would use the word support. And I'm not talking about financial support, but that's always nice. Um, but I mean the intellectual support, the uh, even emotional support, the pedagogical support, the support for graduate students, the fact that the Stone Center brings together um, and nurtures a collection of scholars whose purpose is a greater knowledge of Latin America uh, is very, very valuable. And so it makes Tulane a perfect place to pursue one's career. Are we good? Okay, good, good. <laughs>